Am I the asshole for asking my girlfriend to not take so many photos when we are out together? My M24 girlfriend F24 recently became interested in photography after being gifted a camera. At first I thought it was great she found a new hobby and was supportive of it. But things have gotten a bit much. Whenever we go out anywhere, she brings her camera and stops every minute to take photos of flowers, people's houses, street lamps, rubbish, literally anything. It gets annoying because I always have to wait for her to stop taking photos. Or if I walk on eventually, she acts like she doesn't even notice and makes no effort to walk alongside me. It's also pretty embarrassing when she stood outside someone's house for five minutes trying to get a perfect shot. Like if someone did that outside my house I'd find it creepy or think they were planning a robbery. She also is trying out street photography where you take candid shots of people. I understand it's a legitimate type of photography but it makes me uncomfortable when she takes photos of random strangers when she's with me. She is not very discreet about it and when I ask if she's concerned about people knowing she's taken their photo, she just says she's legally allowed to do so. That may be so but I find it a bit rude or weird to do it without their permission especially when she posts the photos on an Instagram account. I told my girlfriend what I thought the other day because I just wanted to run errands with her without always stopping so she can take photos. I told her there's nothing wrong with her hobby but that it's getting a bit annoying when we are out together. She got really upset, saying she's found something she's passionate about and wishes I took more of an interest. She also thought I was mocking her which wasn't my intention. She is being withdrawn and distant and I feel I was a bit harsh. I don't want to stop her from doing something she enjoys or put her down but at the same time it was just getting a bit frustrating. Am I an unsupportive asshole? Not the asshole. Sometimes you just want to walk to the store and get milk and burger buns without stopping 20 feet for a dozen photos not the asshole. While you should support her hobby, that doesn't mean every waking moment needs to be spent taking photographs. Also, I agree with you about the candid shots. It's intrusive. It would make sense that she take pictures sometimes while at other times leaving the camera at home so that she can focus on spending time with you or doing other things besides photography not the asshole. She's essentially forcing all of your together time to be her hobby time. That's not cool. Info has she checked whether what she's doing is legal where you are. Because where I live, there are some distinctions, i.e. taking photos of strangers in public is allowed but you need to get their consent to share the photos. Also, I believe it is also illegal to take photos of strangers in their homes for privacy concerns. I think you're coming from a good place though. But she needs to understand that there's a proper place. Time and way of pursuing her hobby. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She sounds like she's found something she enjoys. Which is nice. That said. I've been known to dive head first into a hobby and block things or people out. And that's not good. Perhaps you could offer to take a trip specifically for photography. Like a park or botanical garden. And she can explore the hobby at more appropriate times like that. Not the asshole. UGF is tar for taking people's photos without their consent and posting them for the other excessive photography. She probably is just excited about the new hobby. You can try communicating with her and have specific days time where you both are just going out without the camera. Not the asshole. You aren't saying she can't do her hobby. 
just asking that she not do it every second while you two are together. Also, I do not like the street photography thing. Not the asshole. Regardless of any ethical issues of taking pics of people or private property without consent. This sounds exasperating to deal with on the regular. A one-time cool event for photos. Like a hot air balloon festival or something. I'd give some grace and be patient. But every single time you go in public. That's exhausting. Not the asshole it makes you uncomfortable and that's perfectly fine. She can do her hobby on her own time. While she is allowed to photograph people in public. If she is posting them and the people are recognizable. There could be a problem. My photography and the law class was long ago. But she may want to check out current law on the subject. Not the asshole my daughter is a photographer. She doesn't take photos of people without asking and doesn't invade the privacy of people's homes. She doesn't take her pro camera everywhere. On every outing. I went with her on photo shoots twice to a historic area. She warned me beforehand it was a photo shoot and I need to be patient. Which I was. Because I knew what I was getting into it's fun to watch a talented artist at work. But not all the freaking time I don't blame you for being bothered. Not the asshole. You just need to mix it up a bit. Start making special trips out together just for her to take photos. Go to a park or flower garden and just stroll around while you talk about your day week. Let her take all the time she wants because you don't really have a destination or a timeline. Part of the adventure could be you trying to surprise her with good locations. So propose a compromise. That you will occasionally take her out for photography sessions if she doesn't take as many. Pictures when you are out trying to get errands done. Not the asshole. My partner is also a photographer on the side. At first it was very annoying. Constantly stopping and waiting. I brought a book with me once on a walk and he was shocked. He said I'm so sorry. I didn't really think. Is this boring for you? And I explained. It's not boring all the time but every single walk is a bit much for me. Just explain that whilst you are happy she's found a passion. Could you please have camera walks and non-camera walks? Or meet her after she's been out with the camera as it's unfair to you and your time. Not the asshole. I hate people with no concept of others' emotions. I'm a six blonde woman and in my area. I'm a rare Pokemon. So I get a LOT of stares. It makes me feel gross. Especially because some people stare with their mouths open. It took a while for me to feel okay going out and being looked at. I would feel so sad to see a woman with a camera snapping photos of me when I'm just trying to have a nice time out. You think I'm a freak show lady. I stand out. But that doesn't give you permission to get close and take Insta pictures to make you feel like an artist. Not the asshole. I run a small YouTube channel about a video game my significant other is not remotely interested in. I do not ask him to watch it or be in the room with me while I'm recording or streaming. And I try to not record or stream while he is doing something around the house that that would disturb. It's great your GF found a hobby she's passionate about. But she doesn't need to involve you in it and she can pursue it without you around. In fact, it's perfectly healthy for her to do so. You are altering your life constantly to please her. What is she doing for you? Your new hobby is walking rapidly without stopping or conversation. Good exercise. Not the asshole. She is violating societal rules. Yes, she is legally allowed to take pictures. But that doesn't mean someone won't try to kick your ass over it at some point. She needs to pursue her hobby in a more socially acceptable manner.